Okay, the color of my go-kart is odd, but I did want to make a memorable color when I went to get the paint mixed. You know, I, this wasn't old paint I had laying around. I purposely chose this color. When, but when I went to get it mixed, I asked for Kawasaki green, like the stuff they use on the frames of their dirt bikes. They didn't know what I was talking about. So I just went through the book and chose some crazy green color, just so everybody would recognize this cart from a mile away and remember that crazy color forever even though it's definitely not my favorite color but I think it'll look good when I'm done right now I've got the steering gear all taped off the primer sanded the pedal and that shaft all prepared too for paint the drive hubs on the rear axle are ready too the sprocket and I'm going to paint those with Duplicolor Gloss Black Always make sure your painting area and the stuff you're painting is warm enough. Make sure that you kept your can warm, like in the house or any place where it's not cold, because cold paint doesn't stick that well and it runs easy and you don't want runs and drips in your job. And don't try to do a good job the first coat. The first coat is the sticky coat to be able to do a better job on the next coats. Do at least three coats, but just never try to get it all shiny and nice looking on the first coat. It's just going to mess up on you. So you do thin coats. This stuff comes out really nice. Steering spindle. Never sit here and go, Psh, that'll just mess up your paint job. Always do systematic strokes. Never keep the push button pressed down all the time while you're doing this. Rolls beautiful, haven't got any runs or drips. Dries pretty quick. Done. Lots of people said I should have painted it red, black, or blue, but those are just such common go kart colors. I just didn't want it to be like that. This go car is definitely going to be better than it was when it was new 32 years ago. I just brush painted the trim clad on at that time. Depapered. Now to paint the steering wheel, it was sandblasted too because it got all corroded, chrome all wore off, but got some silver paint now. This ought to do. We do have one red fender. That's because that fender was super deeply rust pitted and I wanted to paint it on the last warm day before the rain came. So that's got that spot putty stuff on there that needs to be sanded and reprimed and I'll just paint that fender separately so after the steering wheel I can put the stuff on the floor the box liner stuff mmm sweet done and now to paint the brake drum with the high heat stuff from Duplicolor. See how it works. It actually doesn't get that hot. That's why I've got primer here. This will be the hot surface. So I don't have primer there. Done. And now for the truck bed coating never used this stuff before because I don't have a truck. I'm too cheap. That's why I drive a, a 
very fuel efficient minivan. Shop still warm, so let's see how this stuff goes. Ah, it just looks like putting on undercoating, except it's dripping. Uh oh. That means I have to do it standing up. It's coming, it's looking good. Done. Can't go wrong. That stuff just keeps coming out and it doesn't seem to want to drip or run or do anything wrong. Nice texture. I even put some on the brake pedal pad surface so the paint doesn't wear off. Oh, I mean, the, that's, yeah, that's the brake. Now I should put some inside the fenders so stone chips don't cause that all to rust like it did before. Perfect. We are almost done. And a few more small parts. Exhaust brackets, ignition coil holders, mud flap holders. All set. Done. Ready for reassembly. Well, Almost.